here you have the mini differential end cover DAM0133 they require new bushings once in a while as you will notice on your inner pot joints that diameter of that shaft should measure these measure 1.249 just under one and a quarter these new inserts the bushings that have been installed into the end covers are for the 1973 and onward for the Mini 2A3538 the differential side cover bushings these will have to be reamed out if you do it yourself and inserted there are the old ones and how it's done I tuck the old ones out the new ones I use a bronze bushing tighten the vise down and the bushing has now been put into place once the bushing is into place they have to be reamed out to the right size so you will need a reamer for that So take out the mechanism that you had used. I used another bronze insert bushing just so nothing gets scratched on top. Push down and the new bushing is now in. If it's measured, it measures 1.244 and we have to ream that out to 1.250. About a thou oversize of what this size is here. If this measures 1.250, you want to go to 1.251. Thou bigger. You want at least a turn. The old bushings that were in here, that are in the old ones, are measuring 1.257, so they have worn quite a bit, and what happens is the oil seal does all the work to keep the oil into the engine, and guess what, it's not going to work and you're going to get leaks after three months at least. So you want to replace these if you're going to do diff covers. So once the new bushing is in place, you'll notice it has a dull look to it, which is fine, they are bronze bushings. After the reaming, you will have a nice silvery finish. They look like they're scored, but they actually are not. It's just the reamer that was done. I used an inch and a quarter reamer, which is this big guy here. Brought it off a friend, inch and a quarter. The reamer itself does have a slight taper at the beginning, which makes it a lot easier to get the job done. So once it is reamed, I just reamed it by hand and popped it in the vise and off we went. I'll show you a quick example. Hard to hold the camera at the same time, excuse that. So once the reamer is in position, I just held it into the vise, since I don't have a milling machine here. I just use a little lubricant, which I'm using is just a super lube works just as well. You just want a little bit of lubricant on it because these are bronze bushings. They are not brass. And when you do use the unit, you're going to take your end cover with the new bronze bushing. You're going to fit it on. It'll just, it'll just go because it's tight and you start turning it. And you're going to get the chips. This is the finished one just to show you. It's taking a little bit of time as you go down further, get to the 1.250. It's a little tighter and you want to turn it and as you turn it you go down onto the reamer. You'll make it some squeaks. You don't want to go and have it chatter. So as you turn it you want to move it up and down on the reamer. So now I'm lifting it back up, it's getting looser. And then there you go. That is your bronze bushing ready to go. You will clean that out to make sure there's no swarf that's in there. You'll make sure you wash the whole end cover after you're done. Once the bushings are in place, you have to make sure one thing, when you do put them in, you will see that there's two little oil holes at the bottom. And as you noticed, one of the oil holes, galleries, is lined up to the bushing itself. Make sure you do do that, that is important, so oil can flow into the end covers. The ones I've taken off were not lined up, they should be. As you will notice now, once that bushing work is done, you can try your inner pot joint and you can feel it just wanting to go in. It's a little on the tight side. There it goes. She's popped in and it rotates just nicely. It's a little bit on the stiff side. I'll work that out. But you want it to fit in just nice and there's no side play whatsoever on that. And these should be done every time. If your side covers are loose, you're losing a lot of oil. I would suggest taking them off. Buy a set of these bushings tap them out, pop them in with the new one, 
And the new ones you can line up in a vise, just using a, a one-inch bronze insert and just a socket to fit over top. And that's it, and pop them in. You can pop that one in like that. And that would then go into the end. And you are done, and press it in once it's pressed in. Find a reamer, or an expandable reamer to the size you require, and you're done. And make sure the end covers are washed perfectly. Oil galleries and all, blow it out, clean it through before reassembly. Remember on reassembly, if you're doing the whole differential, that the two lower screws are done first before the diff cover is on.